an acute experience that I had when I was young is that my high school, which was a predominantly white high school, um, had a race riot. And it was because an African-American young man was dating a white woman. And there was some spat that occurred with her ex-boyfriend. But what resulted was an African-American high school bringing all of their students after school one day, after our school, and then white students who were quite overtly racist and carrying Confederate flags from another high school joining. And it became this horrible incident at my high school. There were helicopters and snipers on the roof. It was just an awful situation. So there was a unique opportunity to see a horrible situation and to try to do something about it. And so I ended up working with a Baha'i youth group and the principal of my school. And we ended up doing racism workshops for students throughout an entire week. We had a banner and everyone signed a pledge against racism and these kinds of things. I don't know how effective it was, but it was my first introduction to social action. Growing up as a Baha'i in the Baha'i community, having friends and people I loved um, closely who were from many different races, many different economic backgrounds, many different experiences, who faced injustices that as a white middle class person growing up in the South, I did not. I was very acutely aware of my own privilege and it was something that was a passion to me to try to um, ameliorate later in my life. And I try to tell young people this because I don't think they believe me, but like my trajectory was not to do what I'm doing now. I mean, like in, in school, I was a horrible student. Like I was tracked low tier. I was considered not smart and it was very upsetting to me because socially all my friends ended up going into a different track. And so I ended up leaving high school early and going to college um, with this program where you didn't have to apply. It was just like a senior year in college thing. And so I went there. I never got a high school diploma. I actually to this day don't have a high school diploma. In college, I got guidance from a professor who thought I was good at arguing that maybe law school was good for me, but I didn't, that, that wasn't kind of my goal in life. When I went to law school, in fact, I had it in my mind that I would never become a lawyer. Um, I had a very strong sense that there were too many lawyers in the world, that they weren't particularly helpful to humankind. But what I wanted to do was to understand the law so that I could better promote civil rights or human rights. When I was in law school, though, God had other plans, and I had the good fortune of representing a young woman um, in law school as a law student whose case ended up climbing all the way to the highest immigration court in the United States, and she set legal precedent in the U.S. with regard to whether or not um, female genital mutilation or cutting can form the basis of a claim for refugee status in the United States. And so that very formative experience kind of launched my legal career and made me realize that maybe as a lawyer I could make a tangible difference. And it also opened my eyes to the many issues that women face all over the world um, of violence and injustice and the real need for legal advocacy on their behalf. God has interesting plans for people who are completely unqualified for them sometimes. <laughs>